Hey everyone, Gen Virtuality here, back again with more Pascal's Wager. Um, we are in Katib, we are still in Katib, um, but we are going to finish it off today. Um, that is without a doubt. But before we get to the boss, I did say that there were certain paths and shortcuts that needed to be opened up. So. Uh, I think for this first section, what I'll do is I'll just sort of traverse down and see what I can open up and get unlocked before we exit Katib entirely, because it would be worth it would be worth it to us to sort of get these things dealt with now. Um, so what we will do, we'll probably fast track this a little bit, uh, just so that I'm not wasting more time just sort of going around and being a little bit of adult. Um, but if I find anything of consequence or value, then we'll slow it down and take a look. around with trying to open up stuff and get items and do whatever uh, falling to our unnecessary demise uh, multiple times so um, let's get on with the boss and uh, finish out Kati proper to take this round elevator and see the tower in all its glory But, you know what, <laughs> judging from the footage that you probably just saw, I've had enough of this place. <laughs> ah, it cannot be opened from the side, so I guess I have to go this way. Uh, okay, so that is the way to go down. Is there another way out? Did I miss this? 
in my... I think I did. Oh, okay, so this was the place I was trying to get to all along. Uh, and we'll be coming this way anyway, so I'm wondering if we should just... Yeah, let's, let's open the door. Let's go back down, because we're going to be exiting this way from the level. So we can check that part out once we're done. For now, though... I think it is time to head down this chasm. A big ominous room. That sounds like our friend, Mr. Drake. We failed. We failed. The other student would never forgive you. Why not? going on down there? here. efficient with these, uh, considering what happened in uh, the other location for now, as long as I'm not near them. I eventually want to get this guy into limited mode so that, uh, like I said, I think that uh, there's better items or at least more drops if they are. far over the edge. Let's just get a little bit back. We'll take care of this guy. This guy shouldn't be too hard. He's going to disappear on us. Ow. Get the remainder. It's going into limited mode. That's a good one.
on, execute, execute, execute. Ah, missed it by a fraction. What did you do to me? Come on! Break out of it. That now. Uh, take some out. There's that hourglass. You lose it again. Hands off. Thanks, Jared. How's that ruined? Did you just succumb to the uh, the evil of the hourglass? Why did you listen to me? Uh, because we don't listen to anybody. Come on. We're nine episodes in. Don't you know this already? The witch is my wife. I must find her. Because she's my wife. After all, humans can never break the fetters of their emotions. It doesn't matter. That being the case, you should go to Blessed Land before it's too late. Are you saying you're not human? If we let her return to the Blessed Land like this, all the tragedies that occurred here would be repeated. Even worse. Yay! Why? Why? There's another seal of Jacob in the Blessed Land. The last one, belonging to the church. And that's what keeps the Sandras away. So, do we need the seal of Jacob? I'm so confused of what our overall objective is, other than to get my wife. We have already seen what happened after she opened one of them. Uh, Her ultimate aim is not to enter the Closet Grave. She wants to take vengeance on the church and destroy the Blessed Land. Uh, that, is that good? Is that not good? I have no idea. We must stop her. So this would suffer the same fate as my hometown. Yeah, we wouldn't want that. Hurry up. Go to the Blessed Land. Do what you must do. <coughs> I need to rest now. Don't worry. I hope it ends well. <laughs> I hope it ends well too. Uh, you gotta rest. Why? Do you have that wound? How's that wound, Gerald? Uh, alright. Boss is done. Time to pick up Drake's sand glass. So I guess uh, no more Drake. That's too bad. If both of us could be freed from this nightmare, would you give me a hand then? Uh, sure. I accept your proposal. I'm glad to see you made it back safely. It's time to return to Xesoria. Take that Scarlet Media Fragment and go to the abandoned port at Didith. That's why my ship is docked. Ichthyosaria. Ichthyosaria? That's a... That's a tongue twister of a word, if ever I heard one. My hometown. I've told you about it. That land of wonder. Drifting on the boundless sea. <laughs> no, really, Terence. Tell us what you think. I know. You still have your misgivings. You'll find the answer to all your doubts if you can deliver this Scarlet Media Fragment to my master, Lord Ebbinghouse, and reawaken my long slumbering hometown. Alright. Proceed to the Arena Warp on Edith. Yeah, so that's where you will meet Gerald next, but uh, that's, I think, more of the DLC campaign and not necessarily the main game, so we're going to stick with our current objective, which I believe is to head to the Blessed Land. Uh, so, again, just quickly scanning to see if there's any items that still need to be picked up, but I think we are pretty much done here. And I saw two particular doors. Okay, so... Can we open this? <gasps> we can't open it. Where does it go? It goes down. I think we can go down and come back up. Okay. Entrances to the underground have been sealed. We'll have to find another way. But 
there is no other way. Okay, yeah, I think we need to come back here once we have the uh, necessary means to open this door. But we don't, so we went. We shan't. We went, shan't. But more opportunities for later. Instead, let's go out here. Uh, yes, we need to take this elevator back up. I think this will just take us to the floor right above the boss chamber, which it does. And now we can open this, which sort of opens up that door on the other side of this circular elevator. Uh, and now we can leave. So let's head up this ladder. And out these doors. Open sesame. We have now exited on the other side of the sacred tower. This is a different set of doors than what we came in in. Uh, I don't think there's many encounters, if any. But I forget what else is around here. So let's head down here for now. Again, if there's any items that we can pick up, let's see if we can get them before... Oh no, this is... This is another shortcut that we needed to open up, and we might as well do it now. Black like water debris, so we should be uh, opening up some trophy stats. Okay, so we were here before, but we don't need to be here now. Just open the door so that it's open for the next time, if we should need it. And head up on up and the other way. down this way, we want to go this way. That's an odd statue. Mm, very misty in this area. But we haven't found the lost valley of this particular level yet. We have this guy. Hi. Who are you? Who are you? A grave digger. Oh, cool! Why are you here in the dark mist? Why not? To guide the souls with obsession back to this resting place. Do I have obsession? The souls with obsession? Is it my Bury wife? Bury them properly, or they will become hard to control. No, really. Go on. Why, it seems you have an obsession too. But it is still not strong enough yet. Maybe someday you'll be back. I know where I'll end up, but not here. <laughs> nah, nah, you can't make me. Interesting guy. Take this and fill it with strong obsession. You may find something different. Get pitch black mellows bottle. Must fill it with obsession. Those who chase after obsession can end the conspiracy of light and darkness only when buried in the ground. Eh, let's leave for now. I'm not sure what the purpose of the gravedigger is. I've never really sort of branched out for that particular path. Um, but the uh, character does seem quite interesting, so uh, I'm sure we'll be back to sort of take him up on his offer if we find it uh, of value. For now, yep, here's... Let's kick that ladder. And just in case we needed one, not that we did, uh, you know what, we'll rest. We can get our health potions back uh, and we'll continue on because I think the only thing that's sort of 
beyond that point is a uh, an exit with a bell. Oh no, that gets us back here. That was the start of the level. Okay, so that was just a shortcut to get us to where we needed to get to the grave digger. Okay, no, that's that's perfectly fine. Right, and there are those huts that I was all confused with two episodes ago. Uh, no, don't go to Miss Camp. We want to get the carriage and go. We have another objective, and we don't want to dilly-dally. Yes. Teresa want to destroy the Blessed Land. Because she wants to? It's fun, come on. What the hell does she want to do? Are you still hiding things from me after all this time? Yes, what of it? Viola, you don't understand. <laughs> no, you don't understand. It was all because of me. I'm brooding and I'm sad. you to be talking about uh, severed limbs there, Mr. Uh, Norwood. As a courier, I can't even get close to the Blessed Land. But I will try. Have you heard of Eden? No. The lightless city discarded by the Blessed Land. Now it's the gathering place of the Demiurges. The Demiurge? Why are the monks of the Holy Abbey here? More than a decade ago, the Pontifex of the Demiurges, Valand, was sentenced to death because of his betrayal. After that, the Demiurges were banished to Edith and lost the protection of the light, living like known entities. Do you think they can help us? No, no one can help you. There have long been grievances piling up between them and the church. And you know, enemies of the enemies could be our friends. Oh, how profound. I don't think they will take such a risk for a few nobodies. They're not a nobody, Terence, come on. A single spark can reignite a fire. Well, I guess we're talking with Norwood now, so... Uh, did we get his... How's everything? Did you find something interesting? Did I find something interesting? I have. It seems the Martian curse will eventually find everyone connected with it. Maybe this is how you went after offending the Martians. Look who's talking about offending here. Yes, no witty comeback from Terence, because he is too cool for that. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. It was their greed that led to this ending. You were just forced. I just want to get rid of this hidden danger. Indeed, it's getting harder to suppress it. I don't know how long it will hold. I don't know either. I know I have something for you. Eh, let's talk first. Even now, I still believe she's no different from the old virtuous Teresa. It was my weakness and evasion. 
that caused today's situation. Stop blaming yourself. Just bring her back. This pain and suffering no land. Or keep, keep blaming yourself and have the world, you know, fall in on itself. After so many years, this is my first time trying to seek help from God. God would discard no one as long as you believe in him. Hint, hint. Right. Have you found a new Argo? I believe I have. I found some Argyll. Hope it will help. Argyll or Argyll? Come on. Hard and soft continents here. Thank you. I'm glad you still remember it. I'm always curious. Who is the figure that you're making? A late friend. When there was no hope in sight. She gave me everything. But I just can't make her face right. Maybe she is so important to you that a face made of Argyll is never perfect enough for her. No, maybe never. What disturbs me is that her face is going away with time. I hope I can finish it before that. This is the only way to atone. If you find more Argyll, please bring it to me. Oh, I will. Alright. And you, Viola? I'm sorry. I've been holding things back. I'm like that. You just have to get used to it. What's done is done. Now we should think about how to stop your wife. Stop her? I'm gonna help her. Your attitude towards the Blessed Land surprises me. I didn't expect you, a courier, had something that ties you down there. Nothing special. I just need some rest. We're going to have a hard time in the coming days. Alright, let's see if we have anything for I you. I have something to look for. I have. I've brought a new slate. According to the words on the slate, the bracelet is engraved with Celebration of the Flames. What do you mean? What do you mean? That was the day I was born. There seems to be some progress. Anything else can be derived. <sighs> Not enough. Not enough to crack the entire code. There's still time to find the rest. What if you can't find it? I don't want to be stuck in it for the rest of my life. When I left the church orphanage, I thought I was brave. But now I realize that I couldn't leave my past behind. No one can. No one can. <laughs> That's what I just said. Alright. Uh, let's talk to Viola. Let's see what she has to trade now because I have a feeling that she is of the best of the three in terms of getting something. Uh, grants great attack increase when at 50% health or lower. Uh, okay, so I can stand. There's still some more stuff to be um, unlocking with her, I think. Uh, but we're getting there. I think the ones that cost 20 are the ones I want to look at. But of course, these are the things that we need to meet those hedges and make them satisfied in order to get. So let's leave for now. Uh, I don't know if there's anything that we need to do at the altar. Uh, I know I spent a couple of bones before leaving the last area. Uh, so we do have the Potion of Wealth. Grants double the amount of bones for 10 minutes. Uh, so yeah, that may be useful. You know what? Let's craft a couple. Uh... Oh, it takes... Uh, Eight big bones, that's why I could only make one. All right, fair enough. You got me, game, you got me. Uh, oh, no. Let's go back into the altar, please. Uh, do we, oh. I'm gonna keep these for now. Uh, we should be able to get to, let's 
Let's see if we can get to... 18... Alright, 19. That'll work. Uh, yes. Uh, let's get... guys up to snuff. Uh, we got some more items. I don't know if they'll be of use to what we have going here. Uh, can character will remain in abnormal state. The risk enhancement is. Okay, so this was given to us by the... Uh, only by sealing it with... Can you, search and can you stop the whispers? <laughs> okay. Interesting. Alright, and we still have... Uh, we have Lucky Drake's item to craft as well. Uh, so there should be a new trophy here somewhere. Of course, the sand glass was it. Ring of the Colossus Guardian. Uh, resting an altar grants a small chance to survive a fatal attack. Interesting, but it only gives attack plus 11, so almost doesn't seem like it's worth it. Alright, well, I'm not sure. Uh, Alright, back at the altar again. Let's... Uh, let's see about talents. Uh, I don't think there's anything that we need to get with Terrence because... Oh, yep, there is. I forgot. Uh... Charging time for Rising Slash, or not easy to interrupt. Let's check for other stuff first. There is plenty. Maximum Sanity. Uh, okay, so there's plenty of stuff to still be had here. health potions that may be the one we go with just to make sure that we can get get potions out quickly uh, reduces 30 when parry is successful you know we're not pairing anything right now unfortunately uh, resilience from lunge attack okay all this stuff will more or less be gotten within a good amount of time but for now like I said you may want to take the if I can use stuff quickly, then that will be advantageous for sure. We don't have to worry about it ever again. So that uses up our one and only crystal. So let's go back to Benita. And if there's anything left that Namundas can unlock for her, 
then maybe we just best take it. Uh, sanity loss from combat, sure. Uh, before we commit, oh, still lots of things. Duration of buffs from items. Uh, number of potions, which may be handy. Uh, and then the effects. And the standardization provided by Wind Whisper. Uh, what we got over here? And some of the enemy's ranged attacks. Hmm. He's got some good stuff yet to unlock. So let's do this one for now. Uh, and since we have all four of them in going for us, uh, and we have some chipped available, uh, let's just see if we can use them up. Okay, that takes care of Viola, and I think Norwood's pretty much on the same boat as well. Still have a couple of Norwood f uh, talents for Chip Mundus, so we'll get back to that eventually. Uh, but for the next portion, let's see if we can get to Edith, I believe was our next stop. And we will continue running with Benita since she is... The one we are mostly getting getting buffed up here. <laughs> this is Edith. Uh, I'm already... Nope. <laughs> Fenced off. Can't get through it. Fair enough. Okay, let's see if we can get to an altar. Edith has regained its light. How did that happen? Be careful. Although nothing has happened yet, the white dust floating in the air is surely abnormal. Yeah, but how is that different from anywhere else there, really? Okay, so Edith is more of a, I guess, a town? Uh, Alright, we got some... Items to pick up, so might as well. Edith Moss. Alright. Oh. <laughs> Didn't even see. Didn't see you there, friend. No one will see you there. The damn urges would not forget what you have done. May God be with you forever. Uh, hello. Don't go any further, or you will be sorry. Says who? Alright, can I just go into this altar then? Now that we've gotten that altar, let's see if we can uh, get uh, a little bit further into Edith. Don't worry, we'll be probably seeing her again very soon. Like, right now, maybe? Don't touch me. Didn't you hear me? Sorry, did you say something? Uh, you 
could say that, sure. And you are? <laughs> Why are you so tired of being alive? Uh, I don't, is this a question? I don't understand. <laughs> uh, apparently I am so tired of being alive. Kill me, now, please. Don't feel like answering that. Never mind. You're going to be disappointed anyway. There's a rat hindering the damn urges endeavor against the church, and we're going to let him leak the news. What news is that? The gate to the blessed land has been sewed by me. Nobody shall leave here before things are settled. Of the demiurge. Uh, sure, let's like, Against the power of the church, that likely will end well. Yeah, likely. If we were in the past, I would agree with you. But now, Korea, the demiurges have found an absolute strength to fight against the church. Uh, really? What is it? What is it? You will know it sooner or later. But not now, Korea. <laughs> All right. This rat is not as simple as it looks. <sighs> he thought fear would make the Damia just retreat. But it was useless. We just need to stop the bell. It's the last remaining obstacle. Why does the bell? Are there any clues? Is there any clues? Is it Colonel Mustard and the candlestick? I don't know. Korea, that guy is my prey. Leave him alone. Uh, okay. You'd better find a place to hide if you don't want to end up like this corpse. <laughs> it's, it's so very trustworthy, I sense of you. What's the matter with the bell? It seems to cause you great pain. Oh, it's nothing. Nothing compares to the pain inflicted on the Dermia just by the Blessed Land. Uh, tell me more. We have been surrounded by the darkness for too long. Anything that stops the Dermia just from regaining light will be destroyed. So stay out of this. Take care of your own business. Alrighty, my business. Sorry, I gotta leave. Gotta find my wife. Uh, okay. A rat infiltrated, Edith. Be careful with everything you do. Okay. Some clues must have been left here. And that's all she has to say to us. Sometimes Great. I really wonder if we have been cursed. <laughs> well, of course. Can't just sit idly by and wait our doom. Taking a risk to find that guy may be the easiest way to bless the land. That guy? Who is that guy? Well, apparently she stopped us from coming up here, so let's come up here. Uh, hi, are you that guy? Poke you until you drop. Ugh. Like so. Bone fragment. Oh, the bell, the bell! Oh, wait, it doesn't hurt me. Never mind. Well, that lined up nicely. Let's 
grab all these items while we can. Uh, okay, so now it's just a matter of where do we go? Where do we go from here? We'd like to go somewhere where there's another altar. Well, this looks promising. Geronimo! <laughs> I was gonna complain about uh, not being able to stop for an execute again, but I guess I didn't really need one. Right, we'll get that, and we'll get that, and we'll get this. And we'll open the door. Uh, okay, so next, let's come up here. Oh, we have another enemy up here, so maybe he won't. Oh, <laughs> maybe he'll notice us. All but me. Care for any damn bell. All right, well, our next mission is to discover what's going on with the bell. Uh, okay, so let's go down. That's the only way we have to go. Oh, hi. you off pretty quickly. Oh, we got, uh, can we go down here? We can. Stop hanging around. Hurry up to the bell tower. The traitor of death. Gee, pushy, pushy, aren't we, Glenn? we can go. Might as well go this way because we can... Oh, door seems to be stuck. I thought we could open it. I guess we could if there was an area we can drop down here from. Oh, no, we're blocked. Never mind. I guess this isn't the way to go yet. Uh, instead we'll be... We'll uh, see if we can get... Oh, I'm abnormal again! And down you go. Alright. Uh, I didn't want to do a... Alright, we'll do a qu one quick jellyfish. Just to get our sanity up. I want to just get to the next altar or or something where we can uh, cut this uh, episode off. So uh, we'll pick it up once we're done here. door. What is the benefit of opening this door? Uh, okay, yeah, we can go along the rooftops. Ah, right, there's an item here. Grab that. Huge fang! So let's go back down here. Uh, do we need to... I know that some of these doors might have some interactions with them, but not quite 
these ones yet. Uh, okay, if we drop down there, we're committing to that path, which I don't really want to. Do we want to do that yet? I don't know. Alright, lost diary. Great. Great. Right back where we started? Oh, we are, because we went that way. Alright, fine. Let's see if we can go this way. Can we go? You see, there's an item up there. Uh, you know what? We'll get it later. Oh, where are we here? Oh. Can't go any further, apparently. Alright, never mind. So close. Nope, can't go that way. I guess we'll have to drop down. Alright, we're dropping down. Some of these levels are a little uh, twisty turny, so you just gotta know where, where things are. So I think we go this way, and then we go that way, and then we can. Yes, here we go. Alright drop down here. This is where we pick up the item on the roof. And he talks it. Totally worth it. Uh, well, we're getting there. So, you know what? Let's just go back, hit that altar. We're starting to open up Edith here. Uh, we've already met one interesting character, and I'm sure there'll be others down the road. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just uh, rest here. Uh, curiosity. Oh, is this just looping around? I think this is where we were going to drop off and... Okay, yeah, there's an item down here. Alright, so yeah, we're uncovering stuff. But I think we'll save the Edith exploration. We won't do any more altar stuff, but we will pick it up in the next episode um, where Terence and company uh, continue on their holy quest through Edith and onwards, probably towards the Blessed Land from the way things are progressing. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming goodness, including future episodes of Pascal's Wager. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone.